G'day everyone, it's Aaron from Aaron's Weathering. Welcome back again to one of my uh, weathering tutorials. So today I thought I'd mix it up a bit and uh, move away from the uh, sand pit, as we like to call it. And we're going to look at painting and weathering sleepers. Um, many, uh, many a train was made up of sleepers with the ways and works. Um, the purway always being uh, updated and repaired so sleepers very common across the whole of Australia so let's get into it so I have a pack of sleepers here from in front models these packs are ten dollars each and uh, they come highly detailed with wood grain different patterns and uh, to uh, fit in an S truck so let's have a look at some photos now, first of all, we've got this one here, four-wheel sleeper wagon. And let's look at the colours. We can see that there are a lot of orange and yellow hues in it. A little bit of dirt mark in around it. <coughs> and we've also got, you know, flashes of white through it. So that's a, like, they look like very brand new sleepers that have um, only been recently cut from the timber mill. And here again, another photo. Now we can see it's a different colour, more white, dark reds and browns, uh, to uh, give it a different, because you know, different forest grew different types of uh, timbers. So, we're, um, when I say that, that uh, the iron barks that, that we use for the sleepers um, obviously varied in the uh, minor changes in the trees. Now, again, we have another photo here. Got a lot of dark sleepers, a lot of light sleepers. Um, you can see the tannin is also starting to run on some of those, so we can look at that. Now this one's interesting as well, that we've got fresh sleepers on the bottom. You can see the ones on the top, of they've greyed off in the weather. So they've obviously sat there for some time and uh, they've uh, changed colour in, the, uh, in the sunlight. And then finally this one here, again, we've got red hues, we've got yellow hues and very what I'd call almost like a, an amber honey colour. So let's, uh, with that uh, information, let's get into weathering some sleepers. Okay, so let's go through the materials we're going to use today to weather, paint and weather the sleepers. First of all, we have a spray pressure pack here. This one's called Light Sand. Um, there's no hard and fast on this one again, as I like to say. This one here, wooden deck tan, they're a tan colour, and that's what you're looking for for your base colour of the sleepers. <clears throat> then we're going to move on to doing some washes. Now, we have here linoleum deck brown. Uh, again, this one's going to be our first brown wash over the, the sleepers. It doesn't have to be a dark brown. You don't want something too light, but just, you know, think of brown in general, and that's where you want to be. You know, for the wash. Then we've got red straight up on its own, um, th which is going to be part of the wash. I've got myself a couple of brushes, one for doing the washes, one for um, we'll be using later to uh, brush out the pencil lines that we're going to be putting on the sleepers. I've got a pipette here um, to measure out the acrylic paint thinner that we'll need. I have here a little beaker uh, to mix the washes in. And then I have a various numbers of uh, pencils here going through from Payne's Grey to Light Yellow Orc, Burnt Orc, Venetian Red, Burnt Senna and Burnt Umber. Now, you don't have to have all those colours, but what I'll be demonstrating is the, the result using those various colours on the sleepers. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, now I've gone ahead and I've painted our two sleeper loads here for the S-Trucks. I've given it two coats of the spray pack that was uh, shown before. And now we're going to move on doing the, the washes. Now, for the purpose of this exercise, I'm just going to leave them on the stands uh, because we don't need to handle the loads uh, for this process. So, we're going to start off with... Our brown and with our little beaker we're going to mix up a wash so give it a good shake <clears throat> now what I like to do 
is with the tip of the, the paintbrush, the end of the brush I should say, I dip it in and then I'm going to drop a few drops of paint. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then just wipe the end of the brush. Now with our pipette, we're going to get some acrylic thinner. And we've got, there are measurements on the side of these pipettes. But if you haven't got a pipette and you're using a syringe, we're going to be using about two millimetres, two mils, sorry, not millimetres, two mils of the acrylic thinner. And then straight into the beaker. And then we'll mix it up. So this is going to start as our base wash. So, with our wash, we're just going to apply it over the sleepers. Get it into all the little nooks and crannies. Bit along the edges. So as you can see already, it's starting to highlight the grain that's in the detail of the sleepers. And it's just toning down that sandy, light tan finish. And it's like giving it the two, two colours to speak of as we're um, applying the wash. We'll let that dry and then we'll move on to the second wash. Okay, now that the first wash has dried, I thought I'd mix it up a little bit more just to give a little bit of definition and uh, difference between the two loads. This particular load, I'm going to put a second wash of the brown over it to darken it up. That's done, and we'll let that dry. Okay, now that the uh, second coat of the brown wash has dried on this load, we're going to start to do the next wash, which is going to involve both the red and the brown again. So, my little formula for that... Again with the brush on the end. One, two, and the red. Two drops of the red as well. One, two. And with the acrylic thinner, two mils of the acrylic thinner. And we'll mix that up. So it's going to give you a dirty red hue. And we'll 
apply that. There's a wash over the sleepers. <clears throat> Just a light wash. put that aside to dry again okay now that the uh, the wash of the ready brown is now cured let's uh, have a look at some photos again and make our final approach on the weathering so let's go back to this one here got light colors and a lot of dark brown red color which would probably this is going to be more applicable to so we can see that and then this one here, much more yellow, lighter colours, oranges, um, and orc colours. And that's going to be more applicable to the lighter one there. So, let's get into it with the pencils. So I've got my little beaker here with just a little bit of thinners in it. And we'll move on to the light one first. So with your pencil, sharp pencil, just draw random marks on there and then with fine tip brush start washing those colors in with the pencils now you can layer it up And then you can also introduce your browns. So say you wanted to follow this grain here. And accentuate that grain. <clears throat> Just a one wipe over it. And that's really brought that grain up in the dark brown. And again, you can use a different color here. Like this one, here's your burnt umber. brush just over it lightly and just blending them together yeah we've got some lighter colors as we recall on this photo so with the oranges so I've got here burnt orc And we've got light yellow orc. It's just about making random colors to it. <clears throat> yeah. 
Let's go with the Venetian red. So we've got a lot of red in this sleeper. up on it again. If it looks too strong, just put a little bit of the acrylic thinner over it and thin it out. It's always good just to blend colours over each other so you don't have one hue coming through. And you can use with a Payne's grey or a dark grey if you wanted to make a sleeper that looked like it's been out in the sun or it's just it's uh, aged more. And you just dirty it up. Accentuate an edge. It's looking pretty good. We'll let that one dry. Then we've got our darker sleeper. So what we're probably going to be looking at there is a bit more of the browns and the reds, the dark browns and stuff around here. And you can dip the pencil in there as well, just to help to distribute it out.
I'm finished with that. Okay, we've let the final washes and the pencils uh, acrylics dry now. So we've got our pretty much our finished results here. So we've got a lighter version and a darker version. I've also got one here that fits in BDX and Noddies and ELXs and the likes, uh, gondolas. And you can see you can have a lot of fun with different colours all the way through the sleepers. It doesn't have to be just one blad colour. Um, so I hope you've got uh, a bit of inspiration out of this tutorial and I'll have something again for you in the near future. Now, all we need to do is drop these loads into a pair of S-Trucks and let's uh, take a look at them from behind the lens. Catch you later.